Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 573. 573, The Church is One Foundation. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her and for her life he died. Elect from every nation, yet one through all the earth. Her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she And with one hope she presses with every grace and dude. Keep singing. to see your face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. On this Feast of All Souls Day, we ask Almighty God to grant eternal rest to all who have died. At this Mass, we remember especially Modestina Maruzin, Adelia, and Sime Maruzin, the special intention for the Nafik family and all those in our Book of Life. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace, for though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. 
Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord protects the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I kept my faith even when I said I am greatly afflicted. I said in my consternation, everyone is a liar. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. You have loosed my bonds. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among humans. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. The one who conquers will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died had been carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow. And with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the pallet, and the bearer stood still. Jesus said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has looked favorably on his people. This word about Jesus spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. 
Holy Mother Church gives us beautiful readings of consolation today as we celebrate the great day of all souls. Yesterday, the glory of all saints for those who are already in the kingdom that have been canonized and been given proof by God that they rest with him eternally. Today, with heavy hearts, we send all of our loved ones to Almighty God, trusting in the promise of his resurrection. In the beautiful gospel, in the raising of the man from Nain, Jesus shows compassion on his mother, and he shows compassion upon us too. Because though when we die because of original sin and our sins, we deserve eternal damnation, and yet God is compassionate and merciful to the thousandth generation. Just as he shows compassion to this widow, he shows compassion to us who mourn, for we trust in the promise of his resurrection first given to us on the day of our baptism, in which we are promised eternal life if we are faithful. And so, as we celebrate as church, as we lift our loved ones to Almighty God, we hang on to this promise of Jesus. We trust in the beauty of heaven, the mercy of our God, that our loved ones have passed through death, through the waters of purgatory, and soon will enter the kingdom of heaven, and the place first promised them in the Father's house since the day of creation. And so, with this hope in resurrection, because Jesus is alive, we know that our loved ones are alive too. And it is our joy, our responsibility, our duty to pray for them, that God will be merciful, that he will overlook their sins and forgive their sins as a result of Jesus' death on the cross, and that he will grant them a special place in his kingdom. And so, Lord, we give to you all of our loved ones who have died, and we ask that you grant them the great gift that you have promised in your resurrection. And so, as we send them to you, Almighty God, we do so with the prayer of the Church. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May our loved ones rest in peace. Amen. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. As one body baptized into Christ, we bring to the Lord all our needs. A response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord shine his light upon her as she stands in the world as a light of hope for all. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders, may the spirit of peace and justice Guide their thoughts and actions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering in any way, we remember especially young Sienna and Father Charles. May the blessing and consolation of our Lord Jesus be upon them and give them strength and healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our community of faith here at St. Joseph. May the grace of our union with Jesus and both his death and resurrection Sustain us in difficult times, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Modestina, Adelia, Sime, and those in our Book of Life, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon enter the heavenly banquet of our Lord, and be at peace with him in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Loving God, receive the prayers we offer you on this holy day and answer them in accordance with your most holy will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
by the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For it is at your summons that we come to birth, by your will that we are governed, and at your command that we return account of sin to the earth for which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so in the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. <clears throat> the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family which you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we remember especially all those in our book of life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Our closing song is Glory and Praise 490. 490, Song of Farewell. And as we read his, her, we say they. Okay? Come to their aid, O saints of God. Come meet them, angels of the Lord. Receive their souls, O holy ones. Present them now to God most high. May Christ who called you take you home. And angels lead you to Abraham. Receive their souls, O holy ones. Present them now to God most high. Give them eternal rest, O Lord. May light unending shine on them. Receive their souls, O holy ones. Present them now to God most high. I know that my Redeemer lives. The last day I shall rise again. Receive their souls, O holy ones. Present them now to God most high. God bless you. Have a good day.